doesn't want to appear to be a trail. Oh, there it is. It's right here. I found this rectangle shape on Google Earth. It was at the top of a hill at a remote location. So it took some planning and actually three separate tries to get there. What did we find? Let's go find out. Okay, we're hiking to this ruin. Can still see the edge of the ruin. Me and crew here, yeah, we can see it. Pretty high up, it's like 650 feet elevation. There doesn't appear to be a trail. So it's we're- It's at the very top. Very, it is at the very, very, very top. Might just zigzag up here. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we go this way and then up that way. Because if we hike straight up, we're going to probably hit some really steep rocks that way, huh? Mm -hmm. Just jump. <laughs> oh. Okay, I can help you. Yeah, I can get it. You got it? I got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> the thing yes. Okay, we're just going on the top of this hill, probably have another 150 feet or so, 200 feet. We'll finally see it in person. Stopping for a break. So far we've gone about a mile, gone 0.6 mile. Average speed is 1.2 miles an hour. We've already gained 250 feet. We are so close, just up by those tall trees. Then we're at the top. Water break. <laughs> Almost there. So close. Is that it? Oh, there it is. It's right here. No time to waste. Whoa. They've like dug this big pit right here. Whoa, look how, look at that wall. It's beautiful. Yeah. This rectangle looks like it was a defensive structure. Almost like it was a fortress of some kind that overlooked the valley below. Like, Usually they fall down after. You know? The walls in some spots are six feet tall and about six to seven feet wide. It was still in excellent condition considering we only saw a few spots where the walls had crumbled. Up here, looks like the center was built up. Oh, what's this? Is this a dead end? It's like a dead oh, cactus. Oh, it's a cactus. Okay, so it looks like this middle area was built up because on the outside we came up like two or three feet so people could see on the other side of this maybe this is a big fortress or something it's but like an animal bone there's an animal bone yeah oh yeah a little jaw bone of a squirrel or something or mouse this rock wall is so intact it's crazy okay we made it to the top we uh it took 50 minutes we gained 625 feet and we went three-fourths of a mile when we got closer to the rock wall, we could see that whoever built this placed larger rocks on the outside of the wall, and it was filled with these smaller rocks. This hike was uh, 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> Thanks for watching. That was fun. We had fun. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. I'm trying to figure out what this thing was. It's almost 80 feet long, has a pit on one side, is on top of a mountain or hill or whatever you want to call it. And the walls themselves were extremely interesting. Not only because they were six to seven feet thick and roughly six feet tall, but because of the larger rocks on the outside of the walls and the smaller rocks that were used almost as fill on the inside. I imagine it would have originally been almost completely solid. And even on our visit, we couldn't find any holes that went the entire way through the walls. If this was truly a fort, these walls would be very effective against weapons of almost any kind. So what type of structure would need to be 80 feet long, have six foot thick walls, be six feet high, and be on top of a mountain? I'm not sure, but after creating a video on this, 
I did more searching on Google Earth and found something interesting. Another rectangle shape on a different mountain. This one isn't a near perfect rectangle, like the one earlier in this video, but it still is a rectangle type shape. And this one is larger. On Google Earth, I measured about 128 feet in length. So what does this all mean? It means we have to go back.